Hi, I'm Jason, and today we're going to talk about backing up your Mac or PC. With the number of readily available cloud services that exist out there now, um, backing up your computer is basically a no-brainer at this point. If you're not doing it, you should be. If you think you are immune to having a hard drive crash, you will eventually learn that it wasn't a matter of if your hard drive will crash, it's a matter of when. So, you know, the, the hard drive gods will repay you for your arrogance if you don't back up. So today I'm going to recommend a simple method for establishing a solid backup plan for your Mac or PC. I'm going to come at this from two different angles. Uh, one is backing up to the cloud. Uh, that's backing up to a server somewhere else off-site through the internet so that if your house drops into a sinkhole, you don't have to worry. All of your files are safely stored on somebody else's server on another planet somewhere. So that's the first thing we're going to cover. Uh, and second, we're going to cover backing up to an external hard drive locally. Okay, Sitting on your desk is another hard drive or on your shelf or whatever, and you back up to that on a regular basis. So I'm going to start with backing up to the cloud because if you were only going to do one, do that one. So let's start with that. My recommendation is based on three criteria. Um, one is ease of use, uh, the price point, and storage size, how much, how much storage you get um, with the service. I recommend Backblaze. And so let me explain why. And then I'm going to give an alternative service you can use, uh, an alternative backup service you can use um, that has very similar features. First of all, Backblaze is so easy to use. It automatically backs up all of your files, unlimited storage space for whatever you've got to back up to the cloud. And it's one of these set it and forget it type of solutions, which is one of the main reasons I recommend it. Uh, you download their software, you plug it into your system preferences, you choose your settings, you're done. You don't have to think about it anymore as long as your computer is awake at the time that you scheduled it to back up, it's done. Uh, so you don't have to click around with it. You don't have to mess with anything. Um, it's, it's really great. So it's very, very easy to use. Um, uh, and part of the ease of use with a backup service is not just how easy is it to back up, because that should be pretty easy on most of the services that are out there. Um, but there's also the question of how easy is it when it comes time to restore the data whenever I've had a crash or I've got a new computer or something like that. So that's where I think Backblaze really knocks it out of the park. Um, with Backblaze, you can uh, restore multiple versions of your files, like individual files or all your files up to 30 days back, 30 days worth of versions. Um, and and it's so they make it super easy. You can download a free restore of like one file or all your files. And um, that's just part of what you pay for in the service. There's also a great option to have a 256 gigabyte flash drive for $99 sent to you uh, by FedEx or whatever, uh, or uh, an external uh, drive up to eight terabytes. Uh, and that's $189. But you can get that those amounts refunded back to you if you return the drive within 30 days. So it ends up not costing you extra to get these drives sent to you as a restore file. So man, that's, that's pretty terrific. Um, so restoring your files is super easy with Backblaze. Um, you can use their website, and you go on there and start a restore. And you're good to go. I mean, it's, it's super simple to use. You can see there's all the options they have. They have this B2, uh, this cloud service option here that I, I don't honestly know a whole lot about, but I don't use it. But um, these other three options here are great um, and work really well. I've gone in and pulled individual files out of here and uh, said, oh, man, I need to restore a previous version of a file. I have done that not many times, but I've done it. And it's very easy to find what I need there. Okay, on pricing, um, Backblaze is $5 a month or $50 for a year or $95 for two years. That is for one computer. Okay, so if you've got two computers, you're going to have to pay that twice. So it's $100 a year for two computers. I think that'd probably be the best way to go. Or 
you could pay the 95 for each computer for two years to get even more of a, a discounted rate. Um, so to me, that's a good price uh, for what they're offering. It's it's really great. I don't mind paying that at all for the peace of mind I get from having a really solid backup offsite that I can count on. Um, so the uh, so that's the ease of use of it. The pricing is really good, and you get unlimited storage. So the amount of space you get with Backblaze is completely unlimited. Um, you know what, whatever you need to upload. And so I plug in an external drive as well that I have a bunch of photos on. Um, I plug that in to my MacBook, and whenever I plug it in, at the middle of the night when it looks for the for the backup, it'll say, "Okay, is that iPhoto drive there?" Boom, there it is. All right, let's back that up as well. There's a number of other services out there like Backblaze. Um, I think it's it's a great service. I have no reason I would want to change. I've been using it for at least six years, um, and, and it's been really great for me. Um, it's really a close race, though, between Backblaze and a couple of these others. One of them is iDrive. I've studied it extensively, and um, the pricing is a little different. It's $52 right now. It looks like they're running a special. Or it's $52.12 for the first year, and then it's $69.50 per year after that, but that is an unlimited number of computers. And so it would be cheaper if you've got more than one user, okay? Um, they do have a limit on the amount of storage. At that price, it's two terabytes of storage. So, I mean, you, you really gotta balance it out. Say, wait a minute, how much data do I have to upload if I've got two different users, two different computers in the house? It might be more than two terabytes. So I'm gonna have to go to the next pricing plan up. So. I, it is cheaper if it's just two terabytes. <laughs> um, they do charge uh, for recovery in the hard drive. It's ninety nine fifty if you're going to get a hard drive shipped to you to get your data restored that way. They don't have. I did not see anywhere. I looked all over the place and, and read somewhere else as well. They don't have an option for you to get refunded for that drive. Okay. Um, they do have a really terrific service. Uh, iDrive does where when you first load your data up, you can get a um, for free a hard drive shipped to you. You load all your data onto it and then ship the drive back to them. That's a great way to get started because that initial backup can take a while. Uh, so that's an advantage for iDrive, I'd say, is, is they've, they've got a great setup at the very beginning. Okay, next I want to cover backing up to your own local hard drive, an external hard drive that you've got right there that's reserved for backup at your desk or on your shelf or whatever. So uh, there are two options here. One is the very simple option. And if you're just like, hey, I, I don't need anything super complicated here. I just want to plug it in and know that it's backing up. The answer to that is Time Machine. Okay, Apple's backup solution is great. It's, it's perfect for the person who just doesn't want to fiddle with options and toggle switches and do this or that, but what about this option? What about that? No, just back up everything. I just want to move on with my life. Boom. Time machine is the answer for you. It is very simple. Um, essentially, you plug in a new hard, external hard drive, and Apple's uh, got it set up so that the operating system is going to uh, ask you, Mac OS will ask you, hey, do you want to use, and then tells you the name of the drive, to back up with Time Machine. And it says Time Machine will keep an up-to-date copy of everything on your Mac. Okay. Um, and you'll say, yes, use his backup disk, and you're done. I mean, that's it. it that, that's it. There's nothing else to do. Uh, and you could start that up from system preferences by choosing Time Machine and system preferences and saying, hey, yes, yeah, back up automatically, and it, you'll choose the hard drive, and, and it's, it's over. So that's the easy solution if you want that. Okay. Now, there's also a solution that I highly recommend if you want more options, and it's called Carbon Copy Cloner. The thing with Carbon Copy Cloner is it's going to give you a copy of your hard drive that you can boot up your computer from. And um, that's really useful, uh, having a bootable backup. In other words, you can plug in an external hard drive, start up the Mac off of that drive. Um, you know, I've got a small hard drive that um, it's, it's small in physical size that I can I back everything up to as a carbon copy of what's on my Mac. And, and there are tons of advanced settings that you can do all kinds of things with. So this video is not intended to get into a 
tutorial about carbon copy cloner, but I want to let you know that if you want more options and you want to set up a bootable hard drive externally, carbon copy is definitely the way to go. I hope this helps you make up your mind on what options you're going to use and how you're going to set up your back backup plan. Uh, but whatever you do, set it up, get it done. Don't wait any longer. You're going to thank me when that hard drive crashes. So speaking of that, uh, you don't have to thank me below, but feel free to leave some comments as to maybe what options you've chosen or how you back up your computer or what suggestions you might have. Would love to hear from you in the comments. And you know what they say, click the like button and all that. Um, I do have description in the description below. I've got links to Backblaze and what other links, any other relevant links in the description. So thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>